Where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. God has given us unlimited treasures in his word. Every time we open it, we can discover a new treasure or admire an old one. What will we find today? Here's Carla Early with Treasure Hunt in the Word. For Christmas one year, my husband got me a women's Bible study called Living the Chocolate Life by Deb Burma. I've always liked chocolate, but recently I've had quite a bit of it, mostly because of gifts from my family. Right now, I have my standard Dove Dark Chocolate Bites next to my chair where I meet with God. But my husband often gives me spicy Maya chocolate with a kick of cinnamon and cayenne. A friend gave me caramel chocolate sugar-free Werther's Originals. And my daughter gave me a Costco-sized bag of dark chocolate-covered pomegranate candy. All this I stash next to my chair and only eat it when I'm studying God's Word to remind me how sweet knowing and following the Lord is and that I should savor every moment with Him. Children grow up, go off to college, get married. Friends move away, parents and spouses die. Jobs come and go, inflation or emergencies drain our bank reserves. National disasters can wipe away all we own. But God remains. I've seen or experienced all of these in the past few months. Through it all, all the changes, disappointments, crises of our lives, only the Lord remains. If we have him as our firm foundation, our world may shake, but it won't crumble and fall apart. As we think of how temporary other relationships and things in our lives are, We should learn to savor each and every one of them, not take them for granted, not postpone conversations, and take every opportunity to show our love to those we care about. Even more important is savoring our relationship with the Lord, never taking Him for granted, never presuming upon His love and grace, building our relationship so that even when hard times come, we will have that firm foundation. So how can we savor the Lord, not taking Him or His grace for granted in our lives? If I want to savor a piece of chocolate, I give it my full attention, carefully unwrap it, inhale the scent, close my eyes, and take a tiny nibble. As it melts on my tongue and oozes down my throat, I enjoy that bite thoroughly until it's all gone. Then I take another nibble, appreciating each bite until the tiny square is gone. So how do we savor a relationship? We spend quality time with that person, plan little ways to please them, serve them happily, show them in small ways how much we care. For example, I do the laundry each week and then fold my husband's t-shirts carefully the way he likes them. I plan dinner and have it ready when he comes home from work. And if he's on the computer, I often go over and give him a hug and kiss before I leave the room. And he does similar things for me, just to show me, without words, that he loves and cherishes me. How does this transfer to savoring God and his word? Well, spending time in prayer, reading and studying the Bible, not rushing through to check it off our to-do list, finding ways to apply it to our lives, Serving him gladly in small ways throughout our day. Memorizing a verse and calling it to mind frequently. Praising him in song, whether in the shower, driving to work, or whenever we get the urge. Talking things over with him. Thanking him for everything. Sharing him with others. Bragging on how good he is. Reaching out to others with his love. I'm sure you could think of more ways to savor God. The Bible frequently warns us not to take God for granted, not to turn away from Him or presume upon His grace. The Israelites provided example after example of taking God for granted in the Old Testament and the consequences of them doing so. But as I studied this, God kept bringing me back to one verse that helps me cherish and savor Him. The beginning of Matthew 6.33 says, But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. If we do that in all things, we'll never take him for granted. In what ways could you savor God and his word today? You can contact us at treasurehuntintheword at gmail.com. 
We'd love to hear the treasures God has given you through his word. You can listen to other episodes on our website, which you can find in the description below. Thank you for listening, and remember, where your treasure is, there will your heart be also.